At the Touchdown Club, we try to do everything first class, and you can see uh, we spend a little bit of money, and everybody gets a plaque, and this is why Steve Spurrier put this on his wall, because it's a first class uh, plaque, but uh, that's why we have great sponsors to be able to do things like that. Uh, our last two awards, uh, the first one goes to Joe Adams. It is the Paul Lills Award. Uh, hard to believe we lost Paul Lills, July 31st, 2006. Uh, the voice of the Razorbacks, one of the classiest guys you will ever meet. Um, still missing to this day. And the award was set up in this way. It would be presented to the Razorback player who has exhibited perseverance, determination, courage, and resolve in the face of difficult circumstances. And I think that pretty much fits what Joe Adams has been through this past year. Uh, the receiver, 5'11", 180 pounds. We saw him here first in 2007 when he was the MVP from CAC. And, uh, and one thing I remember, uh, USC was after him, all these schools were after him, and I didn't know we were going to get him. And it was really uh, great when we heard he was going to Arkansas. And I wondered, when I saw Joe, I wonder if he was going to be, what, he's not a real big guy. And I said, I wonder if he's going to be, how, how he'll do up on the hill. But I'm going to tell you, Joe, you become one of my favorite players up there because as an old linebacker, I appreciate a guy who's willing to go over the middle. And I'm telling you what, you go over the middle and you're fearless. And I'm sure we'll see here in a minute on the videotape how fearless you really are. Uh, and I know Ryan appreciates a receiver who will go over the middle. And I think it takes that kind of mentality and toughness that Joe Adams has to get through what he got through this year. And I'm sure in addition, as he'll tell you, his family. So let's take a look at the amazing story this year of Joe Adams, our Paul Lills Award winner this year. Joe Adams, Arkansas. Pound for pound, Joe Adams may be one of the toughest men in college football. But even Joe had to be a little scared in early October when he missed three games after suffering a mild stroke. Joe would return to action. He went on to earn second team all SEC honors from the Associated Press. And in the Hogs regular season finale, Joe had what the late great Paul Eels would have called an oh no moment when he took a brutal blow from LSU safety Chad Jones. Joe was down, but definitely not out. With the Hogs trailing by seven late, it was an oh my moment. Joe worked the middle of the field to catch the game tying touchdown pass. I know Paul Eels would be thrilled with this selection. The Little Rock Touchdown Clubs, Paul Eels Award winner, is Razorback receiver, the toughest man in college football, Joe Adams. I'm very honored to uh, receive the Paul Eels Award this year. You know, I, I, first off, I'd like to uh, give thanks to God and to my wonderful mom, my dad, my family over there in the corner, and uh, my older brother, for push, uh, him and my mom for pushing me when you know, some days I feel like giving up football. <laughs> 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 and uh, I mean, it's been hard for me this year and uh, knowing that I had a mouth stroke and I came back and I just wanted to let y'all know that, uh, you know, that Football is not everything. You do have to live a life after that. And I wanted to show this to everybody by making guys around me happy and, you know, coming back and putting Ryan up, you know, for the SEC Player of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I want to thank uh, Paul Hill's family and Coach uh, Petrino and I, wonderful AD, Jeff Long. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be a Ryan Mallett's hype man, you know, tonight. So he's 6'7", about 225. He got some power coming behind him once. I had to change my glove every uh, quarter of the game. So, you know, I, uh, I thank everybody for coming out tonight, and thank uh, all y'all for electing me to be this award winner. Tonight. <laughs> 